welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a different kind of video I got this NADS ultimate brow shaping kit I think you can see it right there and it's basically like a wax pen with little wax papers and you can wax your brows and that's what we're gonna to do today I'm actually getting ready to film another video that you guys already saw so I thought this was the perfect time before I plucked out my brows and all that I kind of let them grow out for a little bit so let's see how this works if you're new around here welcome my name is Jackie I'm so glad that you're here if you like the vibe please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you like to be reminded about my videos my videos are here for whenever you guys want to come back and watch them and yeah let's get into it okay guys so you're zoomed in I may zoom you in just a tiny bit more in a second but I do just want to show you everything that's in this little kit so you have a uh, four of the pre wax cleansing wipes this is just to make sure you don't have any oils or anything like that on your brow hairs so the wax will stick and rip out the hairs then you have the wax pen and it has just like the wax inside I'm assuming this is for four uses since there's four wipes but I don't know if it specifies I'll pop it on the screen if it does specify how many times but yeah and then it comes with 10 of the little cotton strips that you're actually gonna you know press to remove the wax and the hair and then for after waxing they do give you a moisture and smooth balm just so you don't have any irritation um this specific kit does come with a nads wow brow universal brow pencil um it comes with a spoolie on one side and the brow pencils on this side this is universal I think it's just like a light brown kind of color but it's definitely looks like it's buildable so maybe that's why they call it universal because um, you can keep applying to get it to your desired depth and then it does come with the little instructions um, basically says to go one two three four um, just to make it easier for you to get uh, the hang of it and that's pretty much it there is other little tips on here um, by like how you can align your brows and stuff like that I'm not gonna go into all that because I'm gonna just do what I want to do but that's it you don't need to heat this up or anything like that according to the instructions you're gonna twist it for the first time it may take up to 20 times but it, once it gets going it's saying to go slow because the pressure will build up and then it'll start coming out so kind of like twist wait let's see what's gonna happen here um and yeah so let me go ahead and i think i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in just a little bit more okay you guys sorry you might be able to see my mirror here a little bit but i went ahead and i zoomed you in a little bit more so i don't know i'm gonna try to do this with just the four strips um i put four to the side here so i could use them um i think i might just go in and like try to do one long strip oh, i don't know i'm very nervous now i was excited to try it and now i'm like Ugh. so i cleaned my face right before starting the video but just to make sure there's nothing there i am going to use one of the cleansing wipes and I'm just gonna use one side and then I will use the other side that is a lot of foamage let me get a towel here and dry this up and then I'm gonna go in this is just my spoolie um, I just washed all my brushes so there should be nothing on here and I'm just gonna comb my hair because my brow lady used to do this I miss going to get my brows in you guys okay I didn't get them waxed I used to get them threaded but still okay so now I'm just gonna come in here I'm gonna start twisting this here okay that's about a pea size amount it just kind of went like up so now I'm just gonna go here it's saying to start off here so we're gonna go here and I'm just gonna do it one way and I didn't start it all the way down here because I don't really have hair there and I'm really terrified to um, take off too much hair there 
So now I'm just pressing this on, pressing, pressing, pressing. That wax is really thick. I will say that. So you have to move kind of fast. And then I'm just gonna, oh, what the heck? That took off all the wax, but there was like barely any hair. What the heck? Okay, doing this again. And then I'm just gonna use the other side of the strip, which is probably not what you're supposed to do. But I'd rather use this like this. And does it say, am I supposed to rip? Okay, I ripped the wrong way, I think. That's why. Oh my God, it took off all the hair. <gasps> okay. That makes me excited now. So we're gonna do a little bit more. I like that all the wax is actually coming off. There's probably like the smallest amount there. And then I'm gonna grab a new wax strip here and just press it down. You guys, I'm just going with it. And then I feel like I'm supposed to hold my skin a little bit more. Okay, that took off more hair, but it kind of missed this little bit right here. I have a tiny bit here. So without twisting, I'm just gonna go back in. Just like that. And then press it down and I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna get a little close to my mirror here. I just wanna see what's going on. Okay, got most of the hair, but there's still some hair here. So I'm gonna kinda lift my brow. I'm not trying to shape or anything, just so I can get these little two hairs. I just don't wanna get it on my longer hairs that are there. This is just the folded one that I was using. I don't know if you guys could see there. I just have like a little hair right here and then these two little hairs here and then probably this little one here. So now we're gonna go on the top of the brow. Let me just move my long hairs out of the way. And for this end, I'm definitely gonna go a lot slower because I really, oh, wrong one. I really don't want to take off too much hair on the top. Really, it's just to clean up. Yes. Okay, I'm loving this. Kind of just place a little bit here. I'm again just cleaning up. I'm not really shaping too much. My brows naturally have like a little shape to them, so I don't really try to reshape them or anything. Boom. I'm not gonna lie, this is going a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> And then, let me get a little more going here. It just takes a second to kind of like flood out a little bit. So I'm just kind of trying to let it hurry, but I don't want it to dry. And then, I'm gonna just use the back side of this. just rip it off and then just like my last little tail bit and that's it I'll probably clean the rest up 
with my, ooh, I almost got that on my brow. See, this is what I was worried about too. I'm just gonna kinda, I cleaned off the tip, but it was just like right here, not where the actual wax comes out of. And then, with this here. So already that right there is a good little shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little alcohol pad on the same side, kind of clean that off just a little bit. I don't think you're supposed to. Um, I think I am just going to do one little stripe right here in the middle. This just dries so fast. You guys don't do what I'm doing and using the wax strips over and over. Okay guys, so now that I have that done, I'm looking like this. I do still have like a couple of the small hairs, um, but I'm gonna go in and pluck them. I feel like when I look at my brows threaded, there's times that she still has to take the tweezers. So for me, I think it's worked pretty well, but I will give you my final thoughts in a second. I'm just gonna let you go ahead and watch me do this side and kind of like fast forward um, because it's just gonna be repeating the process. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Okay guys, before I zoom you out and give you my final thoughts, I just wanted you to take a quick look. So I quickly did this brow. I tried to use their WOW brow pencil and like nothing was happening. So I just went in with the MAC uh, eyebrow pencil in Spiked and just did a little something, a little bit of clear brow gel and that's it. And then this is just my natural brow without anything so you could just see. Um, right here. I do have it a little funny looking because last time I plucked my brows I went a little too far. It's growing back in. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what it looks like up close. Let me zoom you out and give you my final thoughts. Okay you guys, so you guys got to see the brows up close and that is what they are looking like. So now for my final thoughts on this product, on this kit. Okay. I. I want to be like, yes, because I was like, yes, with this brow and it went really fast, but I definitely think it's something that you need to kind of practice, practice, practice. So you're not using too much of the wax. So you're not using all the little strips. Again, if this is for a one time situation, I feel like, okay, I don't remember how much it was, but I want to say it was about eight to 10, maybe $11. Um, so, you know, depending on where you live, I don't know how much eyebrow waxing is, um, but it's about that price. Now, for those of us that are still staying home, COVID, um, I think it's a nice alternative instead of going out. Um, but I will say, I definitely think it's more of like a cleanup kit. I wouldn't trust it to like fully reshape my brow or something like that. Personally, I've never been that person anyway. Even when I go get my brows done professionally, I just like to clean up my brows. I already have an arch, things like that. But if you have to like do a lot of like tailoring to your brow, I don't think you'll like this because it does kind of dry up pretty quickly. And it's telling you to go slow so you don't take too much of the wax out. But as you're going slow, it's kind of like already starting to dry from the top. So you just have to be careful with that. Again, it's just something that you need like practice, practice, practice with. Um, other than that though, I was surprised that it worked as well as it did. I was kind of thinking like, is this wax even gonna pull out any hair? It definitely did. Um, this brow took longer than this brow and I feel like I had to pluck a little bit more on this side, but I was a little scared to get in there and like wax off half my brow, I'm not gonna lie. So just, 
it just does take some practice again it's a great alternative right now because of covid but yeah guys that's pretty much it those are my thoughts like i'm still kind of like on the fence about it i want to keep using it to know if i would like 100 be like go out and get it but if you've tried it let us know down below if you're like a pro at this now let us know your little tips like let us into the little secrets <laughs> okay you guys so that's gonna be all for today thank you so much for joining me i hope that you enjoyed this now i want to get like a whole like waxing machine thing like i'm very inspired <laughs> thank you guys for being here so much please stay safe and healthy and i will see you guys in my next one adios